this about camp? Well, pretty much it's actually a fantastic experience. I spent majority of my time, like before coming to America, worrying. Now I kind of feel like an idiot for worrying because it's actually been one of the best experiences in my life. So it's awesome. All the kids are nice. Every time I've like had an opportunity to like do a bit of side traveling, every time I've got lost, all the people that I've spoken to have been very nice. So yeah. Cool. Explain to us um, a day to day at a day camp so people who wouldn't know what that meant. So when it comes to day camp, there's like two different types of uh, shifts. You have your extended, which is wake up early and uh, start the day early and finish late. Their normal is usually like start at a reasonable like normal time and then you finish like same time as any normal job would be. Um, and pretty much every other day is well, it's fun and it's normal. There's a lot of kids that you get to uh, interact with. All of them have different backgrounds, so it's it's nice that like we don't just get one sort of vibe from America. Like we get all these different types of ones, kids from all over. Some have even come from like other sides of the country, like far states. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this camp it's the only camp I've been to, but. I really love it here, and this is a job I definitely wouldn't mind keeping, so, yeah. And what do you think you bring to the camp, being from so far away? Uh, aside from, like, diversity, it's, like, I get to bring my uh, view of, like, how I once thought America was, and what South Africa really is like, because when I was asking some people here, they... They were quite surprised when I told them, oh no, we actually have these in South Africa. No, we don't know what this is. So it's kind of like sort of uh, closing the gap of understanding from both ends. So I'll be able to go home and tell everyone, hey, America's actually like this. Mm -hmm. And maybe some of the kids or the other counselors from other parts of the world, they'll also be able to like maybe slowly close the gap of understanding. Like, oh, these people aren't so bad. <laughs> Um, what do you, can you explain the Christian element of the camp? What, what sort of goes with that in terms of what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Or? Well, when it comes to the camp name, uh, Kunoinia, I'm terrible at pronouncing yeah. it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> from what I can remember, it translates to community. So everyone here is basically like a family. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> I mean, whenever, like, anyone is down when one of the kids are down or when one of the counselors are down there's always someone that you can go to like we all trust one another wholeheartedly what would you say to somebody who's deciding you know should i go to camp should i not what would your do it trust me you will not regret it i mean if you feel a bit homesick that's a normal thing but like, don't let that be something that holds you back. This is a fantastic experience. And the first time, I think, is probably the, the best time as well. Hi, so, hey, Hannah. So, keep moving forward. Like, pretty much don't overthink it. Just do it. <laughs> and what are your plans after camp? Well, my plans after camp are... Well, what I might try to do, I might try to squeeze in a little bit of travel before I go home. Uh, maybe visit some family that I have in America, go to like some other places that uh, are, well, that have been recommended to me or places that aren't as common. So, yeah, travel pretty much anywhere really, because America is such an awesome place. <laughs> Um, in terms of your period in your life, I don't know if you're leaving school, left varsity, whatever, and you've decided to do this, why now? How, what impact do you think it's had on your life deciding to do it now and, and how does it fit in with your plans kind of thing? It's definitely helped me to like have a more solid idea of what I want to do in the future. Like, <coughs> there's 
two things that I'm thinking of either doing. So either maybe something along these lines as a uh, permanent or a backstop for my main uh, like pursuit of a career, which is voice acting. Because the same thing that I do here, I want to do with voice acting and it's just help bring a smile. Cool, perfect. Thank yeah. you.